Hi there, welcome back to the new video and in this ClickSense tutorial video, we will going to look at the STERR which is nothing but the standard error. So if you are here, I'm sure uh, you may want to or you are developing a, a, some statistical equation or something related to statistical analysis and want to know how you can implement standard error into the ClickSense. So we will see how in the backend that means in the script we can implement it as well as the similar function in the front end we're using the chart function and uh, as you probably know that the chart has more flexibilities as compared to the backend function so let's move on and uh, see the data data is uh, very simple you have type two types you have observed value and the compared value and uh, type is having these two values the type column has these two values and value is basically consist of all these values over here so we will calculate the standard error of uh, of the value which are over here for both the uh, observation and comparison all right so let's go ahead and for this i will going to create a new table let's call it str1 and we will add a load statement load type and str and now we need to provide the value so we'll call it as strr right or based on the analysis that you are doing based on whatever relevant name it is you can give that name and now resident resident of uh, table one right um, group by because uh, dimension is used which is having these two values and type is also over here so group by type that is it you need hit save and load everything is done come to analysis and over here we will add the table and uh, add the dimension which is type because on that dimension, on this dimension, we have uh, iterated the values and calculated the standard error. We will going to add one more dimension, which is STDERR. And that's your standard error value for these two column values, the type column values. Now, you can do the similar analysis over here by adding a column as a measure and uh, call it and go into the expression editor. And over here, STDERR, again, you just need to provide the value. So let's click over here. All right, it has not shown any values. So let me check the function. Looks like some error. So STDERR in value. So I was specifying the wrong function. Click apply. And yeah, you will get the same value. Along with that, you will get the standard error for the entire data as well. So that's the benefit you get in the expression. But the downside is that if you have a lot of expressions, then sometimes your dashboard performance can go down. But if that's not an issue, then you can calculate in the front end, which will work pretty awesome when you are doing any selection or make want to make some more you know add more dynamic features to it like with the help of variable or a couple of other features which is available in click sense but that's about uh, how you can implement the standard error within the click sense both in the backend and in the front end and now i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic